with no questions asked. Local 12's Chelsea Sick is live with what you need to know before today's event. Chelsea, good morning. Jenna, good morning. Street Rescue hosts three of these events a year. This is their second one, and it will be hosted here at Westwood United Methodist Church at 10 o'clock this morning. Now, organizers will collect unwanted firearms, weapons, and ammunition. We want to show you some video of those weapons the group has collected in the past. Organizers say after those guns are collected, they run background checks on those guns to see if anything is wrong with them or if they're stolen. Regardless, this does not come back on the person who turns it in. During each collection of Event, organizers say they receive up to 20 guns at a time. Those who turn in one today can receive a gift card to Meyer, Kroger, or Walmart. I've seen over the years that there have been um, guns on the streets. If somebody is ar arrested or frisked with a gun on them, they go straight to jail. So the criminals will hide the guns around the community. People know where they're at. They're you know hidden under air conditioners. They're hidden in mailboxes, vacant buildings, and then the criminals will go out, grab those guns, commit a violence, and then hide them and nobody can find out where the guns are at. We'll start at 10 o'clock this morning here at Westwood United Methodist Church. It will run until 2 o'clock this afternoon. Reporting live in Westwood, Chelsea Sick, Local 12 News. Chelsea, thank you. Now, Street Rescue says if weapons are collected or functional, they'll be sold to a licensed federal firearms dealer. They'll then sell it to someone who can legally own it. And those funds go back into the program to make events like this one today possible. And turning to other local news this morning, a northern Kentucky jailer is